We hope that works. Well, good morning. Um, wow. Look at all the people out here. This is an exciting morning. I mean, I am so pumped. We have been, we've been biting our, our, our lip here for about two months, waiting for the opportunity to be able to talk about what Rockford Share Fest and the whole community of Rockford is going to take on in 2013. And so I want to start by thanking everybody that has come out this morning. We literally have everything from students to, you're going to hear a little bit about the academies model. We have academy partners here today. We have business partners here today. We have public officials here today. We've, uh, we've got uh, uh, corporations represented here today. I mean, we have the school district out in Mass. We have teachers. We have administrators. Um, this is what our community looks like. This is who we are. And so I'm just so excited this morning to have you all here and say, this is Rockford, and we're going to talk about what we as Rockford are going to do. So um, Rockford Share Fest, as many of you may know, some of you may not know, has been around. Now this is going to be the seventh year. In the past six years, we have done extreme school makeovers to 11 different school buildings within the district. We have completed a high school. We've completed two junior highs. We've completed seven elementary schools and one early childhood center. And we hear a consistent theme that comes out of all of the schools that we have done. And that is that when we head in, we think it's about paint and mortar and window blinds and things like that. And when we leave, what we realize is it's really about encouragement. It's about support. It's about creating an environment that calls the best out of people. It's, it's about love, candidly. It's about bringing love in a very, very tangible way. Help and hope, which is, which is our theme. So um, each year we get the opportunity about right now to say, what is it we're going to focus on this year? And as you may have guessed, because we've called you here, for the first time ever, we're going to focus all of our attention on just one school this year, and it's going to be Jefferson High School. <laughs> you know, and the Jayhawks, this is a great place to be. Um, and as you got a chance, uh, business people and community members, as you came up, you got a chance to uh, actually interact with some of the students. And I think you get a sense for the culture of the students here. Now, there's a lot of things that went into deciding, you know, why do we land on Jefferson? Why here? And uh, I just want to tell you a few of those things. Um, one is that because of the culture here, Jefferson has been chosen to launch the academies model in the high school system school-wide next year. That'll be our first high school in the community that will do this. And that, that, that academies model will include not only a change in the structure to, the, to uh, how the, the, the methodology of, of the school, but it also increases the engagement of the community and businesses within, within the school and within the community. Um, so we wanted to make sure that as the students and the teachers and everyone came back to the school next year, the new, fresh appearance of this school mimicked the new, fresh approach to education that everyone's going to get a chance to experience here next year. Another thing that came into it is, uh, candidly, the age. You know, we look around here a lot of times and go, oh, isn't this one of our new schools? And it is. But it's 34 years old. You know, I want to challenge you. If you had teenagers living in your house for 34 years, there, there'd be some work that needed to be done because it's just the nature of it. And so we have an opportunity here to move the school from being perhaps a bit tired and worn to, again, fresh, new, energetic, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, another thing I've mentioned is just the culture around here. One of the things I've experienced, and I'm hoping that you guys are, are going to get a chance to experience this as you come out and volunteer, is as I've interacted with some of the students here, there is a different culture here. There is a culture of other-centeredness. They care about each other. Um, I hear the word family used a lot. It describes what happens here. And that's something that we as a community want to get behind and encourage and support. Because that really matters. Because together, there's not much that we can't do. 
So um, it is part of the culture. And then the other thing is we're just looking forward because of that culture to, to the student involvement this year. You know, as we've talked with Principal Rundle and the students, you know, there's an energy here that we want to tap into. There's an energy that I think the students can help bring to transform not only the school, but again, transform our community, bring hope and help to our community. So um, with that being said, uh, I have a couple of people that uh, would like to also uh, uh, speak on, on behalf of ShareFest and on behalf of the school district. And so the first person that I would like to introduce is the incoming superintendent, Dr. Aaron Jarrett. This is a great day for the Rockford Public Schools and for our community. And I just want to talk a little bit about what ShareFest means not only to our schools, not only to Jefferson, but what it does mean to our community. I think one of the real lessons that I've taken from being part of this, uh, both directly and indirectly, is when you look at the impact that it has on our schools in terms of changing student, I mean, we're talking about changing teaching and learning and changing the way students and teachers and the community feel about those schools, the impact is undisputable. And then when you look at something like the conversation we had as a community over the last two years about the overall quality of our schools, there was an even bigger impact that ShareFast had. Because when we passed a referendum, 65 to 35, we had an unbelievable group of people in the community, a Kids Win campaign that made that happen. But they did that on the shoulders of the works of the six years of work that the ShareFest team did to raise community awareness about the deplorable condition that our, many of our schools were in. The impact of ShareFest was we didn't have to tell people what our schools needed because thousands of people in our community had experienced what our schools needed. And they grabbed a paintbrush or they grabbed a hammer and they'd done something about it. And that is the legacy of ShareFest. And now what we're going to do this year is we're going to take a Golden Apple winning principal that I'm about to introduce, an amazing child-centered faculty, a high school redesign model, and we are going to combine the power and the impact of ShareFest with the power and impact of an unbelievable faculty and staff, and we're going to watch the greatness unfold. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen with Don Rundle and his team as they benefit from the community effort. Because the bottom line is, and Dr. Willis says this all the time, we cannot do this alone. And ShareFest is the embodiment of that concept. It's not about the public schools closing our doors. It's about opening our doors and welcoming the support and the greatness that's in this community. So thank you for agreeing to come back and work with us again this year. And I can guarantee that the results are going to be even greater this year. Thank you. You know, I was, I was sitting at home last night thinking about what, what I want to talk about and what an honor it is for Jefferson to be chosen as a ShareFest school. And, and I truly felt this is a once in a lifetime thing. And then I thought, I guess I'm the luckiest person because this is my second school that has gone through ShareFest. I was at Flynn when we had ShareFest and then I came to Jefferson. So uh, we're very lucky. I'm very excited. I think one of the things that I'm the most excited about is to see the students' faces when they come back in the fall when everything has changed. And uh, the kids here work very, very hard. Our teachers work very, very hard. And for me, it's exciting to anticipate their excitement, if that makes sense. So as I said, we're very excited to have ShareFest here uh, this summer. Craig mentioned that there's a culture here that has been developed, and it, it's an outstanding culture. Um, our staff and students are very proud to be Jayhawks. And Craig also mentioned that he heard family a lot. And the kids will tell you, I talk about the Jefferson family. And everyone who is within Jefferson walls is part of the Jefferson family, from the students to the teachers to the parents to the special ed kids. Everyone is one big family, and it's very evident here at Jefferson. Um, I also talked about what success mean. When uh, I talked to a number of students today, actually, and I said, what does success mean to you? And or what, what meaning does it have here at Jefferson other than sports? And uh, I thought, okay, that's going to stump them. And it didn't. They just started throwing answers out. So I started typing real quick that I wanted to put down. Um, one of the success that was mentioned was our musical Grease that we had here this weekend. Outstanding, outstanding. Um, the other that was brought up very quickly was our ACT scores have increased every year. 
um, for the last five years. So we're going to continue that. Uh, a couple other things that were brought up is we have a student-led and executed uh, Jefferson homeless, yearly homeless dinner that we raised $5,000 this year. So that was all student-led. That was a success. Our fine arts program <laughs> is thriving. We consistently win major awards, not only at the, the local level, but the regional level and also the state level. And then we have an incredible amount of students who ask me every fall if they can volunteer in our um, special ed LIMI, learning impaired, mentally impaired classrooms, to the point where I have to turn students away. And uh, I hate turning them away, but I think that's a good thing because we have so many kids that want to participate in that program. So we have a lot of successes that we celebrate here at Jefferson. And this is just going to add to our list being chosen as the ShareFest School. So on behalf of the students, the faculty, and Jefferson, uh, Craig, I'd like to thank you and your outstanding team for uh, selecting Jefferson. And we're very excited to continue our adventure. So on that note, I would like to introduce one of our outstanding students who will speak, Lorenzo Jimenez. All right, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of nervous. I didn't prepare too much for this one. I kind of got thrown into it. But um, I'll be speaking on behalf of the students, so I'll try to keep it honest. Uh, most people think of students just wake up, uh, go to class, learn what we need to learn, and head on home. But it's a lot different than that. Um, here at Jefferson, it's a home, not only for the students, but for the teachers, the principals, the custodians, all the staff here. It's a, it's a second home. You spend a majority of your time here. Now, um, as a student, it's clear that there's always been a disconnect between the classrooms and the school district, as well as between the school and the community, and just between other schools. And um, I think Sheriff Fest is a good opportunity for all that to change. Uh, Sheriff Fest is a way to bring teachers, staff, students, and our school district administrators with, along with the community. And it's a way to shine the light on all the positive things coming here at Jefferson, along with all the um, negative things that we can improve on in our Jefferson and as a community as a whole. Uh, it's, a, it's a good way to give thanks to the teachers because they're here every day. Um, they put hours, not only just the hours they spend during class, but out of class. Um, they stay after. I know Mrs. Stockton stays here until 9, 9 p.m. and I just matting so we can have a good art show. And, um, Sheriff has never really had a problem rallying their, their church and their members at Rockford to really help out. Um, but student involvement needs to be a part this year. Um, this is our chance to show the community what Jefferson is really about. Our chance to show what Rockford is really about. We need to bring back a sense of pride in our schools and our city. We're Rockford. We're a proud city and a strong city. And a city that has been waiting for its chance to shine. For the past few years, Sheriff's has all been about Heartland with a little help from the school. Now it's our chance to be the school taking charge with a little bit from help, with a little help from Heartland. Let's take the lead and storm this project. We need to embrace this opportunity and take it to its full potential. We've always been a school of potential, a school of almost made it, a school of must, a, a school of what should have been, and a school of missed opportunities. It's time to take our opportunities um, and make a school for a change. It's time to be Jefferson. Now you understand why we're excited about this. Um, this is a big deal. Uh, I wanted to step up and introduce uh, the next speaker and uh, for a reason. And uh, Harmon, uh, Harmon Mitchell has served us very, very well uh, as a board member and as a president of the board. Um, but I have also seen him literally roll up his sleeves grab paint brushes and rollers and head into rooms and paint and work in extremely hot and humid conditions. Um, and so, you know, on a whole lot of fronts, I want to say thank you. You have served uh, the school district, you've served our community very well, and will continue to, no doubt. So, Armin, come on up. Uh, I want to before I get started, uh, I only have a couple sentences here, but before I even do the two sentences, I want to take the opportunity to introduce a new school board member who is here, uh, succeeding uh, me and my sub-district F, Mike Connor. Mike, why don't you stand up? Uh, 
That'll make up for last night, Mike. <laughs> uh, well, good morning. It, uh, it is a great, a great morning here. Uh, and, and I just want to ask you if you can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel the excitement? Can you feel the excitement not only in Jefferson, but almost if you step onto the school grounds, you can feel the excitement. And it's starting now, and it's all about Sheriff Fest and what they're going to do for Jefferson. It's all about the students, the teachers here at Jefferson, and how they're coming together in the community and how the whole community comes together and with their involvement makes things work through Sheriff Fest. And then, and then, because I, I remember Flynn. <laughs> I remember Flynn. When, when I was kind of new on the board, and I went over to the Sheriff Fest grand opening of Flynn Middle School. And they never had a crowd like that. It was the biggest crowd of parents and students and teachers coming together that they'd ever had at Flint. And it was because it was like a new school. And, the, and that whole, what happens is it's a, it's a uh, oh, what, what, what's the word? It's, it's not an optimistic word, but it's a, it's a feel better, feel good feeling that you get when you step into a school when it's gone through the ShareFest process of that summer. When you come back in the fall and you go, look at this, wow, was this something? And it's gonna happen here at Jefferson. And, and that's a good thing because Jefferson is gonna be the cornerstone for the whole uh, new academy approach to high schools and high school learning and secondary education. And you gotta be really proud of that, yeah. right? It's my honor today as your school board president and, and the ShareFest volunteer to once again be part of really what has become an annual outpouring of community involvement. This very involvement will be key to long-term success in our District 205 schools. And I'm here to challenge everyone in the community to be part of this. Through ShareFest, I have painted rooms. I, I have literally left my mark. <laughs> as, as good or bad as it may be, uh, you can go and check it out. But uh, it, 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 it is, you know, something that you can be part of too. If everybody in this room multiplies itself a hundredfold, you get an idea of how many people will come together this summer here at Jefferson, grabbing a paintbrush or whatever it takes to make this school ring, ring with success and ring with excitement. <laughs> Help send a powerful message to the students and staff of Jefferson High School that they matter, that they are important to our future. We want to do what's best for them, and we want to bring out what's best in them for the future of their education and for the future of the school system as a whole and how that blends into making for a better community. And we can do it, again, in the words of our interim superintendent, Dr. Willis. We can do it by working together. Thank you. Well, in wrapping up this morning, uh, just wanted to give you a couple uh, little uh, pieces of information. First one is that um, there's going to be an opportunity to start signing up to volunteer uh, in the middle of May. We're going to turn on an online website where you'll be able to go up and sign up for any of the shifts. This year, the project, once again, is going to happen from Friday, June 21st, through Saturday, June 29th. It's going to be nine days straight. There's going to be three shifts every day, a morning shift from 8 in the morning till noon, an afternoon shift from 1 to 5, and an evening shift from 6 to 9. And it's going to take all of those shifts with all hands on deck to take on a school of this size. This is the biggest school in the district, over 300,000 square feet. And so we've got a lot of work ahead of us, a lot of work. Um, so I really want to invite you, sign up to serve. Also, it, it takes resources to be able to do this. So there's opportunities to donate. You can donate, go to the uh, Rockford ShareFest website. There's a donate button on there. You can click and donate to that if you wish to donate. The cool thing about ShareFest all along is that ShareFest has been funded really by a partnership between average everyday people, corporations, businesses, the school district, all, everybody has partnered in this to make it happen. Because ShareFest really is a community-wide initiative. So um, if you want to do that, you can do that. 
Uh, you'll note there's some design boards over here on the left. You are more than welcome to take some time and look at those. Uh, it will give you a sense for the color palette that's going to be applied to the school. This room that we're in right now is going to go through an immense transformation. And it's going to move not just in color, it's going to move in function from what libraries have been to where libraries are going with the, in, with, with the incredible access that we now have to information through the internet. So um, take a look at that. I think it's some really exciting stuff. And again, uh, just in closing, um, a lot of times we talk about school budgets, we talk about school buildings, and all those things are really important. But in the end of the day, that's not what this is about. What this is about is life. This is about learning how and figuring out how to do life together as a community in a way that we all link arms and we raise the bar for everyone, that we call the best out of everyone, because we have an opportunity in this community to be great. And so I trust that that's what we are going to work towards and that's what we're going to achieve. So thank you for coming. Have a great day.